Hello viewers, welcome to educators.com. This is Venkatan Nagandhi. In the previous session, we have discussed about how to create inner layout or nesting a layout concept. In this video, I am going to explain you how to deal with scroll views. So here we'll discuss what is a scroll view and a small example on a scroll view. So scroll view is a container where so it allows the data larger than the physical screen. Means if you have a more data than you use, than your physical screen we use, scroll view. So it's a, uh, it is going to allow a single direct cell. That cell can be anything, maybe a view or maybe a, a group of uh, viewers, like view group means layout. So we mostly use linear layout as a direct cell with orientation as vertical. So scroll view supports only vertical scrolling by default. If you want to support a horizontal scrolling, we have another element called horizontal scrolling. We'll discuss that later. Presently, let us see how to implement this scroll view. So here is a small example I'm going to explain you. So this is how it is going to look like before scrolling. I'm creating a small text view. So with a background with some color. Okay. So if you observe here the first diagram before scrolling, so it is there till some a blue shade. So after scrolling, so the, it is going to show you the remaining available ones. If you see the yellow is at the mid. Now once you scroll, it is going to stop. So like this, I'm going to explain the same example through coding. Let us start your Android Studio. So create a project, go to File, click on New Project, name it as Scroll View. So take care of the company name and the project location as we discussed. So go to template, change, uh, select your empty activity, click on finish button. It will take few seconds to load your project. Please wait. Project has been created. Open your layout file. So default it is available with your relative layout. Change this parent layout or maybe root layout to scroll view or inside your relative layout also you can create a scroll view with the corresponding close and closing tag also change and as we discussed we are so here i'm going to work with a small text view so the width i'm taking it as math parent the height i'm just taking the random number so like uh, 70 dp okay and for this, just create a text. We already know how to create a text. Go to resource directory under the values, find your things.xml file and open your editor. Create a string value. So I'm going to take it as text and the value as educators.com. So click on OK button. The string has been created before this string for Android text value. Save this. So it has been changed. Now I'm going to take a small, uh, I mean, uh, the background for this. So that must be a color reference. So I'm taking some, the primary color which is available for me. And the text to be center. I would like to make the text to center. So for that, I'm going to use the gravity concept. We already discussed this. So make it center. So it is vertically and horizontally it made it as center. But the text color is not looking good here. So just change the text color and making it as white. Directly even you can give the hash code value here. The text has been changed to white color and give a text style to make a better visibility. I'm making that as bold. Okay. So now it's almost done. So I'm going to create a multiple text views here. So just I'm copying it. So copy this. If you observe here, the rendering problem, so it is scroll view can't host one, can host only one direct cell. So all, as we discussed, 
whatever is there everything must be in your linear layout so create a linear layout inside your scroll view so make it as mass parent height must be wrap content actually if you want to give just give the mass parent automatically it will throw you some warning so change it to wrap content because it is going to be larger than the physical screen and put all of these into your linear layout so go here and add your linear layout ending tag so if you observe here the both are overlap okay so it is giving some warning or error for us so because linear layout must have orientation so we already discussed this orientation must be vertical here save it but i could not see the change between one text view to another text view so i am going to add a margin for this so margin bottom i am giving it as 10 dp so save this automatically the two has been departed so I I would like to change the text to size as well a little bit. So change the text to size to 20 dp or 25. So it must be SP because when you are dealing with the text views, we use scale independent pixel instead of density independent pixel. So it is looking nice. So now to so do the same thing for next text view as well. So both are looking nice. Just simply, I am going to copy all this. I am copying for five to six times to fill the screen. Actually, okay. I would like this to be uh, larger than the physical screen. So let us see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. But all are seems to be equal. So now let us change a little bit. I forgot this margin bottom. So add margin bottom to each and every text view. So for every text view, I have provided the same color. So I would like to change the color now. So go to your colors dot xml file in the values directory. Create your color. Okay. So I have created all of my color values here. So just start referring them in your activity. So change this to. Color one. So this is. I'm referring it with color two. Color three. And color four. Sorry. Color five. So I have given the color values for all of my text views. Now simply run this project. So I am already available with my ABD. Click on Run button. It will show you the connected devices. Click on OK button. It will take few minutes to load the project. So it is installing the APK now. So it has been launched. If you observe here. So this is how it looks like before scrolling. So let's scrolling up. So now if you see here, it is showing the remaining text views. So like this, we work with scroll views. So the default orientation of the scroll is vertical scrolling. So you may get it down. Why can't we use a list view instead of scroll view? So of course we can use a list view when you have a larger data. Scroll is the use. So if you have A small chunk of data which is larger than the physical screen will go with the scroll view. If you have a very big chunk of data, then obviously will go with the list view. Thanks for watching educators.com. Let's catch up in the next video through horizontal scrolling.